In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite defense to be able to defend compression sets in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about teaching you how to become a better Madden player at Madden 21. And so if you're looking to learn the latest tips, the latest strategies that competitive Madden players are using to be successful, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click that subscribe button. We try to break down as much as possible in a day here on the channel. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know, I actually have a full uh, defensive ebook as well one of the ways that I help people get better on the defensive side of the ball is through writing basically full strategy guides that explain in depth how to run a defensive scheme and so if you want to get my full nickel 335 wide defensive ebook that link is available in the description of this video it's just $15 walks you through the whole thing and we're gonna be sharing with you a little bit of a principle of the 335 wide ebook with you in this video Okay guys, so what I like to do against compression uh, sets, the first and foremost thing that I like to do is I like to put my flats on 30 yards. The reason why is because it's going to do a really good job against crossing routes, post routes, and corner routes that are very difficult to deal with out of a tight double situation. The next thing that I like to do is I like to put my curl flat zones, as you can see right here, I like to put my curl flat zones on uh, on 10 yards and the reason why I like to do this on 10 sometimes I will put them on five but more than likely you're gonna see that I'm gonna put these on 10 yards and the biggest reason for that is because it does a really really good job against curl routes stock out routes um, the shorter corner routes that you'll see are like the sharp cutting out corner routes motion slants 10 yard curl flats get a lot of things um, that people will throw at you and then the last thing that I like to do is I like to put my hook curls onto five yards as a starting point. Obviously, if you wanted to put either one of these at default, you certainly could, but I this is kind of my starting point that I will start with when defending someone that is running uh, a compressed set. Now, as always, we like to go ahead and come out in the nickel 335 normal. Now, um, you can actually run this very similar defense out of the nickel 335 normal if you would like to, but I personally would recommend audibling down into the 335 wide. And we're going to be going over um, kind of two different types of styles of defenses. They're very similar, but one of them is a little bit better over the middle of the field, and the other one is a little bit better on the sideline. So we're going to be going over Mike Blitz 3 and Cover 4 Show 2. You know, defense, I'll just come out in a cover four. So uh, the first thing that we want to do is grab a couple of different type uh, compression plays, like the play zig under, uh, mesh spot, tight end curl, and halfback angle. And the reason we want to share these with you is because this is kind of a general guide as to what people are probably going to do, uh, especially if they're running some type of a compression look. So we're just going to re respot the ball over there. And again, if you want to get my full defensive ebook, it's available in the description. So the first way that I like to start uh, against the compression set is I absolutely love using the cover four show two and effectively running a cover two out of the cover four show two. This is something that a lot of people have, have attributed to Deuce Close, who's a very uh, who who's also a YouTuber, is a very good uh, Madden strategist. And so if you want to check out his channel, uh, just type in the search bar Deuce Close Madden Twenty One. But what we're going to do is we're going to call that cover four. We're going to shift our defensive line to the right. We're going to crash our defensive line up. And then the, all we're going to do is actually relatively simple. We're going to obviously blitz our user. Um, and then we're just going to take the linebacker on the left and the lineman on the right. And we're going to put two vert hooks out on the field. Okay. The reason I like to do that is because compression sets, especially like the gun tight, you're going to see a lot of drags, a lot of underneath stuff. So I like to start with that. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put both of the corners on the outside onto cloud flats. And then I'm just going to lurk in the middle of the field and try to take away any like post routes or, or deep things that I need to. And what you're going to see is this is actually going to do a really good job. You'll see here if I send the tight end vertical, you know, maybe run a little drag route, maybe even run two verticals up the seam here. What you're going to see is I just want you to kind of watch how this defense is going to defend one of the most popular concepts in the game. And as you can see, the cornerback is in a place to be able to defend us. Now, it's a replay. We're just going to jump into instant replay for just a moment here. And I just want to break down kind of what is happening because there's only so many vertical threads that these vertical routes can get to, you'll see that this 30 yard cloud flat is gonna do a really good job of taking care of the, of the corner route. 
you see that that takes care of the corner route right there. Um, the tight end streak on the backside here, you're going to see that that inside quarter is going to do a really good job of taking that away. And then the last thing that we're going to show you here is that this inside quarter right here takes that away. And then again, if, uh, for those guys that like to run drag routes, if you watch this drag route, you see that because there's nothing else in the middle of the field, you see how that vertical hook kind of carries that really, really nicely to the flat. It does a really, really good job. And then the only thing really open is this wheel route to the running back. But if they throw this, we're going to come up and tackle him for about, you know, maybe one, two yards. And if you have Acrobat on your cornerbacks and Mutt, which would be the ability that I personally recommend right now, you would see a lot of success from that as well. Now, let's talk about a situation that might come up that you might experience once you, once you see, um, once your opponent sees that you are doing a defense like this, and once they start to figure out kind of what you're doing. So what you're gonna see here is it is very likely that you might see something like this, and they basically are gonna motion out, they're gonna motion out one of the receivers. And so what you'll see is if they do that, if they wait on this route, they actually will have a pretty decent window, but you notice that that inside quarter does go guard him. But as you can see, whenever they motion him out, he is gonna be in a relatively good position, especially to the wide side of the field. I wanna, I wanna show you the same concept, but I wanna show it to you to the short side of the field. So we're doing the same exact play defensively, but I just wanna show you how the same concept will play if they run this to the short side. We're literally gonna do everything exactly the same. So we've got three verticals here, and then we'll even put like a vertical route on that side. But you'll see here, three verticals and a wheel route. I just want you to watch the circle receiver. If he motions out like this, and I pass lead this to the right, as you can see, he's able to get over the top of the coverage. This is the concept that is going to, um, that you're going to deal with. I, I, guarantee, I guarantee you, okay? So how do you deal with this? In my opinion, the best way to deal with this is if whoever they motion, whenever they motion them, as soon as you see them motion them, you want to go ahead and simply man them up. So what you'll notice is if I'm using the middle of the field here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run that same concept, right? And as soon as I motion the square receiver, I'm just going to man up on the square receiver. And as you'll see right here, this man coverage will play it lights out. And as you'll see here, we'll be able to, uh, we'll be able to pick that ball off. That's my best tip for you to be able to do that. Now, if they start doing that a lot, I actually like to go to my second coverage, which is the Mike Blitz three. And this setup is actually relatively simple. Literally, we're going to shift that defensive line to the right. We're going to press coverage. And then from there, all we're going to do is we're going to um, essentially shade coverage down, shade coverage up so that our cloud flats are coming from the safeties uh, in the corners. And then we're going to put our both of our linebackers into seam flats. That's literally all the adjusting that we need to do on this play. And of course, we're going to pass it. Now, if you wanted to, you could shade, uh, uh, crash your line out and then drop the right of screen guy into a three reg zone. It's up to you. But what you'll notice is if they run that same uh, concept here, Number one, the vertical routes are not gonna get open, but even more importantly, because we put that back to 30 yards, as you can see, this is the one thing I did wanna hit on though, as you can see that that route does get open. That route does get open. So I want you to make sure that you're completely aware that that route can get open. So another, another thing that you can do to deal with this a little bit is you could effectively run an outside quarter on that left side um, and then you could have, again, your, your cloud flats or whatever, and then you could play it something like this right here. You know, maybe you deep half the short side, and then maybe you essentially play like a cover six invert. You could do that as well. Um, you'll see that if I run that same exact concept, now all of a sudden that outside quarter is gonna get out there and he's gonna basically make a play on the ball. So in my opinion, if I'm playing, if I'm playing someone that runs a lot of corner routes from the gun tight, you're gonna see me run a lot of cover four. If I'm seeing, playing someone that runs a lot of crossing routes, for example, like to play zig under, um, a lot of crossing style of routes, then you're gonna see me play more of a Mike Blitz three approach. As you can see, those zones will sit in a really nice area against the crossing route. So those are two different styles that you could play. Um, obviously, if you wanted to, the other thing that is really good against compression is simply running Mike Blitz three because everything is so crammed together in there. If you blitz them like crazy, it's very hard. The routes take a little bit longer to get open, in my opinion, from compression. So that is a couple of defenses that you can use to stop the gun tight. In my opinion, the gun tight is one of the best offenses that really not a whole lot of people use in this game. It does a very, very good job at beating a lot of the coverages. Thank you for watching this video. I do want to remind you, if you want to get my full 
defensive ebook that literally shows you how to stop every offense in man 21 my 335 wide ebook is available right now for just 15 dollars. there is a link in the description of this video all you got to do is go down in the description and there will be a link that you can click on to go pick that up and again if you have any questions you could always text me my number is 208-218-6900 and we will catch you guys on our stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m eastern right here on the youtube channel and again if you want to get that ebook it is available in the description